Buffalo, 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 buffalo is a grammatically correct sentence used as an example of how homonyms and homophones can be used to create complicated constructs. It has been known to exist since 1972 when the sentence was used by William J. Rappaport, currently an associate professor at the University of Buffalo. Sentence construction. The sentence is unpunctuated and uses three different readings of the word buffalo. In order of their first use, these are the city of Buffalo, New York, the animal buffalo in the plural equivalent to buffaloes in order to avoid articles, the verb buffalo meaning to confuse, deceive, or intimidate. Making each buffalo with its use as listed gives buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the verb, buffalo the verb, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal. Thus, the sentence when parsed reads as a description of the pecking order in the social hierarchy of buffaloes living in Buffalo. Those buffalo buffalo that buffalo 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 buffalo. Or, those buffaloes from Buffalo that are intimidated by buffaloes from Buffalo intimidate buffaloes from Buffalo. Or, bison from Buffalo, New York who are intimidated by other bison in their community also happen to intimidate other bison in their community. It may be revealing to read the sentence replacing all instances of buffalo the animal with people and the verb buffalo with intimidate. That sentence reads, Buffalo people that buffalo people intimidate also happen to intimidate buffalo people. Preserving the structure even closer, mapping buffalo the animal onto dog, buffalo the verb onto bite, and buffalo the city onto Tokyo would yield Tokyo dogs, Tokyo dogs bite by Tokyo dogs, or Tokyo dogs whom other Tokyo dogs bite, themselves by Tokyo dogs. This is the same sentence structure as buffalo, 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 buffalo.